Welcome back to another Stardew Valley video today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Golden Scythe. It is just to the east of our farm here on the other side of town. So basically you can choose to walk your way over there once you have the quarry unlocked. Alternatively, you can do what I do and take the minecarts once you have them as well. So then once you arrive at the quarry, you'll notice there's this little cave here right by the bridge. Just go right in here, you'll walk in, you'll see this scary looking sign. It gives you a heads up. There is some tough slimes down here that you don't even want to bother with. Honestly, my strategy for this is to just run past it. Before you come here, just buy like 20 pizzas from the little inn there and you're good to go. Honestly, you can just run past all the slimes and then once you get to the floating skulls, you can choose to fight them if you want to, but you can also completely go past them as well. So here I am just for showing sake, just showing, just fighting these guys. The problem is, is I'm still pretty early on in the game, just like you could be right now, but that doesn't even matter. The only unfortunate thing is you're going to have a weapon that probably doesn't do that much damage. So you're going to be fighting these guys forever and you're going to need so much food. It's going to be ridiculous unless you're really good at dodging all this craziness at once. So honestly, just do what I'm doing. Eat pizzas, grab the scythe, and then just keep on eating them on the way out. So this was quite an intense escape. I cannot believe how many of them there are. But now as we're on our daring escape out, we now have the golden scythe, which is really nice. Basically, it'll give you more hay when you're harvesting the grass on your farm field. It also has a wider radius as well. So it's just beneficial to have. It's a freebie. It's a gold scythe. You know, you can't upgrade your normal scythe. So you might as well get a better one for free and just dodge all this. Having all of these follow me was giving me some serious binding of Isaac uh, vibes. That's for sure. Have you guys ever played that game? It's a lot of fun. I don't have like uh, the one with all the stuff, but I have like Afterbirth or whatever. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time with it. And a lot of people don't seem to know about it. Definitely check it out. Binding of Isaac, highly recommend. But anyways, we're on our way out here. Just keep eating pizzas. No worries. As long as you just keep eating them after you get hit a few times, you'll be fine. I don't even have any star drops at this point, so I just have the default amount of health. And then here we are. We got ourselves a golden scythe. Fancy, you know, we can wash it off in the rain here. And now you get to keep it. You can put your old scythe in a chest and never touch it again, basically. So yeah, there you go. You got a golden scythe. Use it. Enjoy it. See you in the next one.